Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and finally, welcome to part one of the FF Class Power Mac G4 Cube. In this series of videos, we are going to convert a totally bare bones uh, G4 Cube into an absolute monster. Um, I have bought, researched, bought, and it's taken forever, literally upgrades for every single component you could possibly imagine. Um, it's taken a long time to get here and it's cost me an unbelievable amount of money, but um, I'm finally at the point now where I am happy to put out this uh, series of videos, so I really, really hope you enjoy it. Um, part one, this video, we are just going to sort of go over everything that is going to make up the FF Class G4 Cube. So, without further ado, let's get going. So, here is the star of the show. This is the actual um, G4 Cube itself. Uh, it's in really, really good condition. Um, there's no cracks on the sides or anything. There's just a couple of little scratches at the top. Um, the actual insides of the computer, obviously this is a bare bone system, so there's only like uh, the motherboard, DVD drive, um, stuff like that, so we're going to be putting all of our components uh, straight in. Um, and yeah, the design is just incredible. You can just pick the whole system out with a handle. Um, that's something that, that still hasn't really been achieved since. So now we've taken a look at the actual cube itself. This bunch of parts is what is going to go inside it. So we're going to go through um, each of these sort of parts one by one, and I'm just going to sort of go over um, what they're going to be used for. So arguably the least exciting part of all of these is um, this. This is the 802.11 original uh, Apple AirPort card. Now um, obviously this only supports up to 11 megabit per second, but for what I'm going to use this cube for, I would rather use the built-in um, AirPort card as opposed to getting like a USB one or whatever, because as you know the USB ports on the on the cubes, there's only two of them, so I'd rather um, go for this and save a USB port basically. Next up uh, we have two of these, these are um, single Molex to Molex and three pin fan connector. Now as you can see there, there's two fans here, um, I still want to use the DVD drive and the hard drive obviously, so um, yeah this is just a, a way of um, being able to, to get fans in the system. Speaking of fans, uh, this is one of them, this is the main base fan that is going to sit at the bottom of the system. Um, it, this had decent reviews as sort of like a case fan in normal PCs. I, I've tested it out inside the, the main rig and it's, it's quiet enough and it should just sort of help um, the airflow and the CPU um, blow out more air out to the top of the system. So yeah, that's the main base fan. Now if you own a cube um, with an upgraded graphics card, there's a very high chance that you're running one of these um, in it. Now this cost a bomb to get imported from uh, America. Um, it, it's unbelievable how much this little thing cost me. But um, basically you can see the graphics card there, I'm going to go onto that in a minute. But this little guy um, is a Titan uh, cooler. I um, can't remember the exact model, but on basically every single... It's, it, it's infamous for being perfect for... Um, cooling higher-end GPUs inside a cube. So yeah, that's our GPU cooler. Here is the GPU itself. Um, this is an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 6200. This, this is um, made by XFX, I believe. Um, it's got 256 megs of DDR2 uh, video memory. Um, and the most important thing, it supports Core Image, Quartz Extreme, all of that goodness. So um, this really should make running Leopard um, on this cube a much more pleasurable experience. This is the RAM, um, so I've got three sticks of uh, 512 megs um, PC 133 memory. Um, it's standard stuff, you can't really do much more with um, in, terms of, in terms of RAM when it comes to cubes. 1.5 gigs for Leopard is, is plenty enough and um, yeah, pretty simple stuff. In terms of storage then, I'm going to be running this guy. Now this is probably where I spend the most time sort of mulling over in my head what I want to run. Um, I could have gone with an SSD, but the um, basically the, the conclusion I came to was the ATA bus on, on the G4 Cube is even slower than what was in my power book and I put an SSD in that and um, I just really couldn't really justify um, spending 
upwards of 50 quid on, a, on a, even like a 32 gig SSD um, to get at best marginal um, speed increases. This is a Wedgen, Wedgen Western Digital Caviar SE, um, 7200 RPM, 120 gig drive. It's an absolutely lovely little drive. It, it gives me more space to work with as well, and that is that's a big plus. So yeah, that is um, what's going on in terms of storage. And finally, um, you may be wondering what is inside this um, tissue paper. Um, I've wrapped it in, in here to keep it safe, but um, I'm going to show you uh, on video now what this is. This is awesome. These are so, so hard to come by, and I am over the moon um, that I have one here. It is indeed a CPU upgrade for the Power Mac. G4 Cube. This is a 1.2 gigahertz Sonnet Encore ST um, G4 CPU upgrade. Now, um, this obviously the cubes only came uh, with either 450 or 500 megahertz G4 processors. This is 1.2 gigahertz. So, in real real world performance, over double. Um, the performance of our cube and this processor alone is really what is going to make this um, G4 cube truly FF class. It's an awesome bit of kit and I'm sure if you own a G G4 and you've looked at processor upgrades they are extremely hard to come by these days so um, I am chuffed the bits with this one. So there is our system that is what is going to make up the FF class G4 cube. Um, CPU maxing out the RAM, getting one of the best graphics cards you can possibly put in a G4 Cube, really, really doing the cooling a favor, getting a really nice, quick 7200 RPM drive in there, wireless networking, it's just gonna be an awesome, awesome system. Um, I am absolutely rearing to go, I am so excited. Uh, I really, really hope you enjoyed this uh, first part, guys. Um, if you're watching this a couple of months down the line, then um, parts two, and three will be linked in the description down below. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.